Hi, welcome to this broadcast of Ink Spot Show and Tell. Today we have Andrea, Andrea Patton. And Andrea is an alcohol ink artist, but she also works in other mediums. And she has a dual location. She lives in Texas and in Alaska. Um, she has art in several ga galleries in both states and has, has won several awards. I'm going to let her tell you about that. Um, so I'd like to introduce Andrea to you. Andrea, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started with alcohol inks? Sure. Hi. Uh, so I'm Andrea Patton. I um, have been actually drawing since I was a six years old and painting in acrylics for probably 50 years, which tells my age. But I went to live in Alaska in 2014 and I met a lady named Francine Dufour Jones. She's very active on our AI community. And she was giving lessons in alcohol inks. I saw some of her work in a gallery and I thought, oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful, vibrant painting I've ever seen. So I took a lesson. And the rest is history. You know, you get absolutely addicted to it. Um, she gave us, I think it was about a three hour uh, instruction on ceramic tiles. So I've been painting for four years in alcohol inks. Uh, went on to work in UPO quite a bit. And that's what I'll, I'll show you. My, my piece was done in UPO. Okay, great. Um, so Andrea has today um, one of her paintings and she wants to share with us her process and talk about it. And, and thank you for being here. And I can't wait to see this and hear about it because I've seen it on the group quite a bit. And I love this painting. So I guess I'll just hold it up. This is Ringo. Ringo the iguana. Um, I used to own iguanas when I was a little girl. And when I got into alcoholic painting, I thought, wow, it would be really great to paint an iguana. So I joined an iguana Facebook site, actually, and uh, asked people to show me photos of their iguanas. And uh, Lori, I did send you, well, I'll have to send it to you, the photo that I actually used. And it was a, a guy who had this iguana named Ringo. And it just, the colors were amazing. I thought, okay, that's it. That's the one I'm going to use. So this was done on UPO paper. I would say it took approximately eight to 10 hours to create. Um, also sent you a few photos of my work in progress. Started out by sketching it in pencil and then filling it in with the inks with a paintbrush, just kind of getting the background. So lots of layers. And then I used the Prismacolor pens for the details. And then at the very end, I used uh, the micron, very thin micron black pens to do the fine details. So this is the original on UPO paper, but I thought it would look really great with a black background. So I had my son, who's a Photoshop pro, fill it in in black in the background. So I had, um, I haven't sold the original, but there's a gallery that wants it. I just don't know if I want to give it up. Um, so I have a lot of these printed. I have them printed on canvas and things like that. And I sell them at art shows. So um, I kind of like the black background. Um, I would say, let's see, the challenges we're just making sure I stay inside the lines with the alcohol ink. Right. Like, you know, alcohol ink will, will really spread. So when you get it on your brush, you don't want to put it on there really wet because it will just, it will go outside the line. So I had to go very slow, be very careful, be very patient. Um, I did use the alcohol ink blending solution to thin it out to get kind of a light, shadow down here and um, you know let it dry before I used my pens. I really like painting in detail as you can tell. So I, I like doing little tiny dots and all that and you know if you want to make it look realistic. I'm, I'm a realism painter so this this I really enjoy doing um, but it's it's also kind of abstract you know yeah. a little bit. But when you see the photo, the reference photo, um, it does have a lot of colors in it. 
they got that's what I wanted I wanted mm -hmm. something that had a lot of colors and light in it so well it's beautiful I mean I I tend to be a realism painter as well um I guess it's kind of my personality or something I don't know <clears throat> and I try really hard to loosen up so for me loosening up is a challenge you know what I mean just not trying to put so much detail into it I don't know if you find the same thing, but I mean, like I see Sharon Harris's work and stuff and she's just so, she just makes it, oh, just put some ink here and there and then and, and it's yeah. so flowy and it looks, you can still tell what it is. And I, right. so that's my personal struggle. Um, I don't know if you deal with that, but this is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Oh, that's thank that. you. Thank you. I'm, I'm proud of Ringo. I also did a chameleon. I like lizards a lot. I think lizards are beautiful. So doing all the scales and things like that. I'd like to do a tarantula. I'd like to do a snake. I just think animals are beautiful. I also paint a lot of birds. Um, oh, I love really, doing birds. Really enjoy doing birds. And of course, from Alaska, I do uh, tons of mountain scenes and landscapes and things like that. Right, right, right. That would have, what a, what a n nice um, change from Texas to Alaska. I mean, it's so oh, yeah. different, but it's that both are so beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Alaska inspired me beyond my wildest dreams. If you've never been there, you gotta go. Because one of my hobbies is traveling, and I would say um, we just got back from Ireland, but Alaska is still more beautiful. It's so big, it's so vast, and if you're an artist, oh my gosh, you'll go insane. Field day, right? Better take your camera, right? Oh yeah, I invested in a very expensive camera. I kind of... That's one of my hobbies is photography too. So to get the photos uh, for my paintings. Oh, so hey, can I ask you a question? Do you photograph your artwork? Yes, you do. So you don't yes, scan do. it; you photograph it to reproduce. Um, or okay, both. I take I take that back. Uh, my big painting. So I'm working on on this one right now. This is an acrylic painting, not done. That I'll have to photograph. Right. I actually, I, I actually took a lesson on photographing artwork. You can do that. You know? Right. So right. Say, yeah setting up the lights and everything but something like um ringo the iguana yes i can scan i have a very high uh, quality uh epson scanner that someone on your site told me about it's been great is it the um, 7620 i think so yeah, yeah that's what i use and, it's right behind scan, me yeah Does it look like that yeah, <laughs> that's it yeah and you scan it at the high you know really high resolution and okay. I do that with the tiles. I do that okay. with the UFO. But on my big acrylic paintings, um, I have to photograph. Right, them. right. But I yeah, so you have to have special lighting and angles and all that. So, it, I mean, it, I find it, uh, I've done it. It's hard. Or, mm -hmm. or if you have to photograph your small stuff, you have to do it like outside on a cloudy day and that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, and, and there are places that will, um, will do it for you too. And they'll charge you $50 or something like that. Right. But I said, hey, I want to learn to do it myself, you know, so I got a Nikon camera and uh, so, yeah, that's what I do that. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Where can we, where can everyone go and see your stuff and learn about your classes and that sort of thing? Sure. Um, so on my uh, Facebook page, it's a patent fine art, which is all one word, a patent fine art. So on that, I do advertise. Um, I do teach. I teach here in Houston, Texas in my studio. I take about three people because it's kind of small. But I also teach at the Art Cellar on Eldridge. And on my Facebook page, I always you know, talk about it and where you can sign up. Um, in August, I'm teaching people how to do uh, alcohol ink necklaces on UFO paper. Um, I have taught a lot of alcohol ink on uh, ceramic mugs. So I do that. Um, I also have Instagram, which is also a patent fine art. And then I have my, uh, my, my uh, website is a patent.faso.com. So that's the fine art. I'm not even sure what FASL stands for, but a lot of artists uh, have websites on FASL. Right, right. Yeah, so, so okay, thanks. Um, send me those links and I'll put them in the description. Yes. Of, of the um, of the broadcast so everyone can know and go and learn more about your stuff follow okay. you okay what one more thing I wanted to yeah. say yeah. is um, well, a couple more things uh, 
if you are in Texas, if you're near Austin, there's a place called Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. And in September, I'll be giving a two day class there on painting wildflowers, which I did last year. And I'll put that on my site as well. Um, and that's a really fun class. Oh, and yesterday I did my, uh, I guess it was my second video uh, class. So it was a lady in Indiana and we did an hour and a half and it was just through Facebook Messenger and it worked out really well. That's and cool. that you can sign up on Etsy. So <laughs> all of those links are on my, my Facebook page. I and love I guess, that idea, Andrea. I love that. Yeah, because that way, I mean, I know that you can go on YouTube and I know you can get links on how to, but this lady had questions. So we could talk about it. And I could, right. you know, ask you were a her, consultant. You were, you were being more than just a lesson or a class. That's consulting. And I think that's awesome because I think that, especially getting started, that that's what a lot of people need. So, I mean, in a, yeah. lot of, in a lot of our contributors do kind of offer that either through, you know, a Facebook group or a lot of them will talk to you one-on-one -on -one and, and yeah. message. And stuff. But I think that that's, I think that's great. I think, love what you're doing, spreading the love for the alcohol inks. And, um, it's a big yeah. Um, three, three words, patience, uh, perseverance and practice. Because yeah. the first time you try alcohol inks, it's kind of like, wow, this is, this is weird. And I, I, I don't know how to use this. Just practice. It's so much fun. I mean, I can't believe that I went from, you know, a flower like this to an iguana, you know, yeah. in detail so that I, and a lot of people, the lady said uh, yesterday, this beginner, she said, yeah, I was told you can't use paintbrushes. You can't, really paint in alcohol inks, you know, people can mislead you, but you can do anything in alcohol. Yes, you can. Well, thank you so much. This has been great. And um, I, we, I will post all your links to everyone um, so that everyone can go and follow and learn about you, your classes and everything. Again, thank you, Andrea. And thanks everyone for watching. Okay. See you later. Happy Have a great weekend. weekend. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's a life-changing opportunity. Excite the art.